All right guys, so September is quickly coming to an end, which means Q3 is almost over. I can honestly say right now is the busiest my schedule has ever been in my entire life. I'm also having the greatest impact I've ever delivered. Successfully merged into a brand new industry, a brand new niche, we are already at $27,000 in reoccurring revenue. The big win here is we've brought on some really good clients in this industry so that we can really grow and build a very awesome product, which is really gonna help us scale to a million dollars a month and beyond, hands down. Another huge win is the inner circle, which I'm really finding joy in. We're getting awesome results from our members, and I just really like talking high-level business with these guys every single week. Lastly, we have the Black Sheep Agency course where we help agency owners go from zero to 50K and beyond. I'm finding a lot of value in this because I get to jump on calls with them twice a week and help them navigate going from zero to 10K, 10K and beyond. I've been in their shoes. And so when I'm able to help them, it's just, I just see myself six years ago and uh, it's just a great feeling to be able to help them make the right decisions so they can scale. Good evening. How are you guys doing? Not too bad. One strategy have we have for most of the sales positions and the very like extrovert positions, they have to send in a one to two minute YouTube video on why they think they'd be a good fit and why they think they can achieve the outcomes of that role. We get a shit ton of applicants, right? We'd be spending so much time shifting through all these applicants. The ones that actually read the job post and follow the directions and send the video, those are the ones we set up interviews with because one, it tells you that they can actually read and follow directions. So if they can't follow the steps, then how the hell are they gonna follow the directions once they're hired. I swear to God, it's hard to be depressed when you say you're gonna do things and you fucking do them and you don't let things build up, causing anxiety day over day, week over week, just not doing the shit you said you're gonna do, not progressing as a human being, slacking, procrastinating, sleeping in, doing all these things that just destroy your confidence. So I think happiness is really confidence and I think confidence comes from doing the shit you said you're gonna do doing the work being disciplined and just having a great fucking attitude since we're here we might as well just rock it let's go this is Victoria how can I help you Hey Victoria, I'm looking for Dr. She's actually with a client right now. Can I take a message? Sure, no worries. Are you guys currently taking new patients? We are, yes. Why I'm calling, we've been working with a couple clinics in Texas already. I asked Victoria just if you could mention that you spoke to Parker. It was just from digital locks without sending more qualified patients. Yeah, we're done. I'll let her know. Okay, thanks Victoria. Okay. A lot, lots of wins in there. Yeah. You're saying things very slow. To like yeah, that might be one of my first calls of the day. In a way, it was like yeah. easy to understand. I loved about that too is at the end of that call, there's no doubt in her mind what this is about. She so knows this is about getting patients. Like you said it like three times. And that's exactly what you want. When you, if you walked, rocked in and said, hey, yeah, like I've been working with six clinics in Texas last two years. I just want to show her how we do it. I think it's solid. When they get sassy, it's just like, hey, I work with six other clinics in Texas. This is what I do. This is how we do it. I just want to show her how we do it and see if she's interested. Yeah, it's good. I like the script now. All right, guys. Good shit. Let's rock it. three times a week, it's about 10 minutes long. About to eat real quick. Five eggs, two pieces of turkey bacon, pico de gallo, spinach. Not gonna have a lot of carbs, just so I can 
uh, not get all tired and stuff. Alright guys, let's go ahead and take a look. We're gonna review today. How are we doing this month? Zero sketch, zero shows. So we have 46 net lead, I mean total leads, 60% DQ rate, 18 ended up being netted. Of those 18, we only had three schedules and two shows. We've been dealing with all three niches actually, just ad rejections. I'm currently running a uh, dynamic ad set with a couple of good copies, a couple of good creatives. Every time I throw up a native content, it keeps getting taken down. Have you basically been running the same type of creatives since day one? No, I've been trying, I've been doing natives. Just this ad set's been running since June, it's been performing. Every test that I put up against it, it just, they don't. So something I've done before is I would create an audience like view content, for example, and then I would exclude them to try to get Facebook to run the ads to a different pocket of people that, that still matched our audience. Yeah, I mean, you can just even do people who engage with the ad. So I'd say that's something you can do and then... Or duplicate the campaign, you know, just duplicate it and see if it picks up a different pocket of audience. Have you been running the same headlines? Yes. So you're probably due for just a completely different angle on headline, audience exclusion, sure. come different. Hey guys. Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing good, thanks. So what happened was they called me and kind of said they're not an approved vendor. And that's when I reached out to you because I'm, I'm really disappointed. Uh, you guys have given me a better ROI than any approved vendor. And I know that all the other franchisees would love having you. Everyone in my office loves you guys. But too, I'm going to try to resurrect this and show that the ROI generated by Digital Ox blows away anything uh, of the other vendors. I'm really disappointed because you guys are fantastic. Everyone on my, uh, on my staff loves you guys and the, the numbers speak for themselves. It's a bummer. I mean, I understand from your perspective, you kind of have to follow the guidelines, right? So I'm still going to try to salvage this and get a, a full meeting with the director of, of marketing and, and try yeah. to get you guys approved. I'm just going to lay it out there. Here are the numbers. Here's what I'm getting from our other vendors. I really want to consider digital apps to be an approved vendor. Yeah. I'll, I'll just keep you guys in the loop. Appreciate that a lot. So some unfortunate news, we just got off a call with a client who we've been with for nine months, who we've gotten incredible results for, and he has to force cancel us because the franchise he's with found out that he's using us, we're not a vendor partner, and so it's just unfortunate because he's gonna lose a lot of revenue and ROI to his business. And so he's so motivated and he enjoys working with us so much that he's about to craft a full blown email on all the previous month's data and how much he spent with us, how much he made, total ROI. Pretty present a case on how important it is for the franchise to add us as a vendor so that all the other locations can experience the revenue growth that we've been able to achieve for him. He mentioned we are by far the best marketing company he's ever worked with and it just would be irresponsible to not get our name out there. So the loss is we lose this revenue right now. Awesome client, he's gonna lose a ton of revenue. But we're also on the back end going to find a way to get myself and our team with their executive board to figure out a way how we can make this partnership so we can help the other 200 locations get the job done.